It is very stiff up here. Is that tender? I'm gonna bring your hips down like this. Gee, that does hurt. There you go, go down. Yeah, I feel loose. Nothing too crazy, okay? Loosey goosey right here. Squeeze my fist in between your knees. <laughs> oh. That was nice, yeah. The right one comes out further. Yeah. Oh god. Unlock your full potential at Crack Addicts. Let's start with the low back. How far back can you remember having low back pain? Well, I fell down stairs and I hurt my back when I was little. So ever since then, I've kind of had like arthritis. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, interesting. Have you ever had an x-ray? Mm -mm. Okay, you went to the chiropractor twice. Did that help? A little bit, yeah. Okay. All right, so how often does it bother you? Do you have the back pain every day? Mm, it depends what I'm doing. I go to the gym a lot, so if I lift super heavy, then yeah, it hurts. Okay. A lot, but... What else? What other things make it hurt? Um, definitely when I'm at work, because we have awful chairs. <laughs> okay. All right, do you ever get any pain down your arms? No. Numbers are tingling in your fingertips? No. Nope. Do you get headaches ever? Sometimes. All right, so <clears throat> I'm going to watch you walk. Let's do an exam on your spine. Let's see what your spine says, and then I'll get you adjusted, okay? Okay. All right, looking at the feet first, heel strike, mid stance, and toe off look uh, symmetrical. There might be a little bit of inversion there on the left. I don't see anything on the right. Maybe some flattened arch as well on the right. So we have to check the arches there. From the knee down, genuvarum, genuvalgum, nice and straight. No... No curvatures there, no knock knees, no bow-leggedness, though. The left knee is definitely internally rotated, though. All right, looking at the hip swing, it's even from left to right. So far, I don't see any deviations, but I do see a leaning of the thoracic spine. So the thoracic spine is coming over to the left. We should see a high right shoulder. Okay, chin up, walk. Here, do me a favor. Before you walk this way, clear your hair off your shoulders. All right, walk this way. Okay, so we do have a high right shoulder and a high right mastoid. This is pronated here with very decrease with a decrease in the arch, which is significant. Turn around and face the other way. So we do have a little bit of bowing on this Achilles tendon and this Achilles tendon. So you could use some arch. Where'd you get these flat feet from? Were you a cheerleader? <laughs> My grandma. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna do a very gentle scan on the top of your spine. Okay. Okay. Terrible right there? Mm, a little bit. Do you have high pain tolerance? Yeah. Mm. Okay, so does this over here feel like this over here? Kinda, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, does all of this on the left feel like the right? Does this feel the same? No way. This has gotta feel worse. Yeah. This is much, there's much more. Is that more, a knot? Uh, is there is some muscle things happening here, but actually we're, we're in right next to the spine. Oh. So the, you do have a muscle knot, but this muscle knot is more specific to the spine telling me that that needs to be adjusted. Man, is this tender right here? Mm -mm. This feels like it's... That's felt worse up where at top. This one up here? Yeah. All right. All right, I'm going to palpate the SI joints just below your waistband, okay? Okay. Okay, ready? Left versus right. Left, right. Which one more? I think left. Okay, ready? Left, right. Which one more? Left, right. Left. Okay, ready? Bottom left, top left. Which one more? Top, bottom. I think bottom. Bottom left, okay. Okay, nice and straight here though. There's no curvatures in your spine, no deviations to the left or right. You definitely don't have any herniated discs, no pinched nerves today. This looks pretty straightforward, mechanical back stuff. Most likely some left SI joint. We're gonna check out the right lumbar. Some thoracic stuff here. 
we'll look at your neck a little bit di uh, differently when you're laying down, okay? So looking at the glutes here, we're gonna trace up to the bottom of the glute fold like this. It's definitely lower on the right. That means your right hip is going back like this. Or your left hip is going forward, we'll see in a second. Okay, your feet are even, that's good. Looking from the top, this is pretty close, so there's no internal or external rotation there. Okay, let your head relax. Good, keep going, keep bending. Good, let your head relax though. Let your head go down, all the way, all the way, all the way. Okay, good, no curvatures here. Definitely have some uh, prominence here in the right lumbar spine, and then the left shoulder, rhomboid, levator scapula. Go ahead and stand back up here. Okay, no curvatures in your spine, but you definitely have some muscle stuff like that. That sucks, right? Yeah. Terrible. That suck or what? Yeah. This side okay or does that suck too? Mm, right side worse. Yep. Okay, so but this is a spinal muscle. So that muscle right there is trying to pull your spine this way. So we're going to help it along when we adjust it. Good. That one too? Yeah. Yeah, it's much different when you lay down. So... So like this actually comes down all these all these rhomboid muscles in here that were activated earlier, but that's terrible, right? Yeah. Good. One, two, three. Three adjustments here. Okay, I'm gonna push down into your pelvis. Let's just see here. Do you have any pain, discomfort, tension when I push here? A little bit, yeah. Left side here. Mm, a little bit. Okay, one side more than the other. Right, left, right, left. Think right. Okay. Okay. What if I push here? L5. Any pain, discomfort, tension here? Mm -mm. L4. Here. Mm, a little bit. Three. Here. No. Say so L4. Let's see. Left and right. Even. One side more than the other. It's about even. Let's go here. Left, right. Left. Okay, left or right? Which one is more tender? Left. Left. Let your, let your neck relax here. There you go. Left, right, left, right. Left. Shoulders relaxing, good, sink. Hello, pressure, okay? Yeah. I'm gonna drop the head down just a little bit. All right, now, there's two up here, but I think we should be able to get them both in one. 
Okay, deep breath in and out. Good shoulders sinking. Okay, so I'm gonna check three different sets of neurological tissues here. So we have we have the occipital fibers here, the trap fibers here. There's actually a, a neuro, neurovascular branch that goes here too, but it's mostly occiput, trap, and then the coccyx fibers at the very bottom of your spine, okay? okay. All right, so let's come down to the coccyx fibers first. I'm gonna come down to the sacrum. This is the end of the sacrum and, and the first coccyx segment. Is that tender? Mm -mm. One, two, tender? No. Good, two, three, tender? No. Good, four, tender there? No. Good, okay, now coming down to the left side. Tender? No. Good, tender? No. Tender? Mm, tiny bit. Tiny bit, right? Yeah. Okay, and, and that's good right there, right? Yeah. All right, so let's come back to this one right here. So we're gonna hold this fiber. Then we check the direction of the tension. Left, right, up, down. This is up and in. Good, now we're gonna come over to the, to the occiput on this side. Good. Your occiput actually feels like it's clear here. Trap fibers. That one's tender, right? Yeah. Okay, we're going to hold these two points. First, we find this direction. Up, down, left, right. Yours is up and right. Good. So that was the same direction as this one. So both of these fibers match up. We're going to hold this just for a second. Breathing. It doesn't take long. Good, down, good, left side, good, down. Uh, which one was more difficult? Try it again, mm -hmm. right side, down, left, down. Left. Left was more difficult, so left SI, and we have a PL on, on your L4. Left, short, left, short, stay short. That points to the right SI. The right SI was tender on compression. Even though there was a left sacral restriction, we can adjust the lumbar on the left and the SI joint on the right. I'm gonna adjust the lumbar spine, okay? So I'm gonna stretch your shoulders up like that. I'm gonna bring your hips down like this. We're adjusting the L4 right here. So I'm gonna push it down and we're gonna clockwise rotation. Good and out. Good, shoulders relaxing. Good, let this all loose. Good, hold on, there's more though. Lay me back. How's that? It feels good. Okay, gently, I'm gonna bend this leg like that. Good, we're gonna stretch over here. I'm gonna stretch your shoulders up like this. We're gonna bring this down and push like that, okay? Okay. Okay, nice and gentle breathing. Go ahead and take a deep breath in and out. Good, shoulders relaxing, good, sinking in. That's good right there. Good, let it all go. Good. The sacrum this time. I adjusted the lumbar earlier. This time it's gonna be here. All right, so let's try this. Go and take a deep breath in and out. Go let the hips come down just a little bit more. Good, we're gonna bring this down a little bit more. Loose, let the shoulders loose. Good. Okay, lay on your back. See how there was just one more left there? Cool, I'm gonna bring your head over to the side like this. Okay, you're doing good. I'm just gonna follow your breath, okay? Then we're gonna bring this over and then push just like that. Good. Okay, nice and gentle, right there. Good, let this sink in, good. Gentle breathing. Let's see what this right side says. Okay, we're gonna adjust that guy right there. That's terrible, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, this is that. Okay, this is C2 on the right. Okay, gentle. Okay, let your head drop into the table. Let your shoulders drop right from there. We're gonna push like this. Go gentle, 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 gentle. Pull your feet in a little bit closer. Good, okay, you're gonna squeeze my fist in between your knees, okay? Okay, squeeze, okay. hard as you can. <laughs> Did it crack? Yeah. All right, now hold your knees together. Hold them together. Hold them, hold, hold. Okay, okay this is a full spine adjustment, okay? I'm gonna use this towel to support your neck. You okay if I do that? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna go like this and like 
this. Okay, lay your chin down. Okay, the only thing you have to do is keep your teeth together. I'm gonna follow your breath. Okay, yeah, yeah. But like, just breathe out through your nose. You don't have to clench them. I just don't want you to bite your tongue. As you breathe out, I'm gonna follow your breath like this, and then we're gonna pull like that, okay? Good, we're gonna follow the next breath. Good, and out. Good. Breathe. really wasn't any more cracking, was there? Did you feel it all the way down? Yeah. All right, give me the post. How do you feel? How's your neck? How's your back? It feels good. Good? I feel like looser. Hold right here. Don't let me push it. Make it strong. Push against me. Push against me. Towards me. Do you feel like it's weak there? Okay, but that's strong. Go ahead, push against me. Rip. Okay, 100%. <laughs> all right, so. It's going this way, we need to turn it back this way. So I'm gonna bring your left rib cage up here and I'm gonna twist it like that, okay? Okay, push this back up. Push against me here. Against you? Yeah, push towards me. Strong. So as, good. Am I done? No. Push against me. Against me. Okay, you're good. Okay, do a sit up here. What part of your head hurts when you have the headache? Pretty much the whole head. Like, it's pretty, it feels like almost, it's almost to a migraine, but not quite. All right, your husband said that you're hard to crack. I am, I'm very tense. So I, I have, I'm um, very high anxiety. Okay. So I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but I'm very like tense a lot of the time. He okay. just tries to crack me and I'm like, you do, you always try to crack me. Try one time. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, stop. Okay, looking at the feet first, heel strike, mid stance, and toe off. Look good. There's a slight external rotation on the right foot. Good. Yep, the right foot comes out just a little bit. Maybe it's slightly on the left, but more so on the right. So we'll see if that translates to the pelvis. Good. Nice and straight on the extremity, lower extremity. Keep down. Okay, looking at the shoulders, it looks like the left shoulder is high from the back. They're very close to even. Looking at the arm swing, the arm swing is, there's some stiffness in the arm swing. Good. And then looking at head tilt, I don't see any head tilt right now. We'll have to look a little bit closer. If so, it's a little bit higher on the left mastoid process. Okay, so just observing your spine first. Good. I, you know what, the, the, your, your, your scapula on the left here, squeeze your scapula back just a little bit. Let me just, there's that. Okay, let that relax. Good. So close to even here, your shoulders are so close to even, but the left one is just slightly higher than the right. You have a slight increase in, in this curvature right here, this little hump, but this is postural. As long as you pay attention to your posture, this won't get any worse. Oh, okay. I definitely don't want that problem. My grandmother has that. Mm -hmm. This is very good, very symmetrical. Very evenly toned all the way throughout the spine. I don't pick up any increases or decreases. We have slight, maybe just a little bit warmer up here, but it's really very consistent and symmetrical. Your uh, skin moisture level is also very good, not too dry, not too wet. It's the antioxidants. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna push a little bit deeper into the muscles. It is very stiff up here. Even the muscles here are hypertonic. You just have some tightness and the spine is a little bit stiffer here. It starts to loosen up as we go down. Your, lo your lumbar spine, thoracic spine, this all feels pretty good in here though. Loosey goosey right here, no issues. I'm gonna palpate the SI joints. Okay, do you have any tenderness, discomfort here? I mean, it 
No, it's just, I mean, it's not comfortable, but it doesn't hurt or anything. What about this side? No, that side feels better. The other side was a little bit more uncomfortable. Yeah, like... Yeah, you feel it that's, here? Yeah, that's a little uncomfortable. This one? Yeah. This one. Which one right more? Right there. That. Okay, upper SI joint on the right. <laughs> and and it, it does feel different. Like, this is nice and smooth here on the joint. This one feels like it like has fluid accumulated around it. The muscles are hypertonic. It like hurts. Like I, like people like massages, and I'm just like, oh, that doesn't feel good at all. Mm. It always hurts. Yeah, it's because you have tension there. Okay, but but the good thing is, it's very mild um, hypertonicity, but it's just everywhere. It's not like there's one muscle where there's trigger points and like. It's just the whole. It's just like a general type of tension. So uh, I'm going to check your glute fibers. This is how we see which way the pelvis is rotated, okay? Okay. All right, so you're going to feel my finger strings on the back of your hamstrings like this. Tracing up to the glute folds, we're lower on the right side. That means your right pelvis has gone backwards like this. And then so looking at the glute fibers from the top, the right one is pressed out more like this. The left one is in. That means your right uh, ilium has rotated externally. of tension here stephanie yeah i feel it how's this is that terrible or what it kind of hurts yeah Okay, I can tell that this, that kind of treatment is actually not going to be good for your shoulders. If I start doing the tapping, we'll just have to do it super tight, super light. Gentle, 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 gentle. We're gonna start in the middle of your back because there's less tension here. Work our way up to where there is tension. So uh, let's try this because you're holding on a little bit here. So let's try this. Why don't you push your back, like squeeze your back against my hands. Push up against me. Good, okay, now let it relax. Good, okay, so that's better. I just have to show you what contract it is. But yeah, this is, um, you have some moderate stiffness here. And we're going to try to do very conservative pushes, okay? Mm -hmm. So let's practice one first just so you can feel what it's like. I'm going to follow your breath down like this. Then at the end of your breath, we just push a little bit more, okay? Mm -hmm. You're doing pretty good. You're pretty relaxed here. Just try to let it all sink in. Let your shoulder. You got any more relax in your shoulders? Can you let it? There. Okay, let's give it a try here. We're going to start with this one. Gentle, gentle breathing. In through your nose. Do it again in. We're gonna follow this breath out and then just let your whole back sink in. Gentle, gentle, following it down. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it freaking hurts. It hurts? <laughs> it, 
it really shouldn't hurt. I mean, like, that just shows oh, how much God. tension you have up there. <laughs> We're gonna move down to this part of your spine here. This one's a little bit different. So this time you're gonna take a deep breath in and then at the top of your breath, right there as you start to breathe out, that's when we push. So when you when you breathe out, make sure you let your shoulders relax. Okay. Good, go ahead and do that again. Deep breath in all the way in. Shoulders relaxed. Good. No pain, right? No. All right, let's try this one here. We're gonna do it gentle still. Shoulders sinking in. Good. Good. Another breath in. And out. Let your shoulders sink in. Good, let this go. Good, let your back go. Good, that's good right there. Good. Good. Terrible. Um, it was alright. Okay. Alright, we're gonna go like this here. Let's get you forward here a little bit. Bottom knee is straight. I'm gonna follow your breath just like the other adjustments. Your shoulders are gonna come up in this direction like that. I'm gonna bring your hips down like this. We're gonna to come to about there. Then we're gonna pull, okay? Okay, gentle breathing, just sinking in. Got one more breath in. No. Good, shoulders relax, hips relax. Good, just letting it sink, sink. Good. Oh, God. <laughs> Did you hear it? That's right. <laughs> oh, I just feel so wrong. <laughs> it feels good after, but it feels crazy during it. Yeah. Shoulders relax and sinking. Okay, so this time, so this hip has come out like this. So I'm going to use my thigh and push right here. I was going to say, I feel like I'm falling off the chair. Definitely not going to fall off, okay? Good. Okay, breathing and sinking. Letting the shoulders relax. The shoulders are coming up in this direction. The hips are relaxing. Good. I'm going to bring this down. Almost. Let that go. Good. <laughs> Good, nice and gentle breathing. As you breathe out, just feel your whole body uh, letting go. Sinking into the table. Yes, that was good. That was better. You're letting go. That's very good. We're almost there. Okay, and then like, I'm just going to just like the other adjustments, okay? It's going to be gentle pushing in this direction with your breath, okay? Very good. Shoulders and hips. Everything sinking into the table and like letting it all go. Mm. <laughs> okay. All right, nice and just relax. Nice and gentle. First, I have to test the left side, okay, and see which one we're gonna adjust, actually. Okay, nice, gentle. Six, five. Four, three. I'm not counting down. See, this one cut like actually kind of hurts a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice and gentle. Just let your head drop in. Shoulders drop in. Good. Good shoulders. Good, sinking, good. We're gonna do C2 on the left right here, just like this, very gentle. Good, sinking in. We'll follow the next breath out. <laughs> That's good, right? Yes. Okay, hold your knees together. Hold them together as hard as you can. Hold them. <sighs> now, the pyloric sphincter is active right now. A Ow! Bit, <laughs> a little bit more tender. Mm -hmm. Is because you just ate? You're okay. not gonna press there, are you? No, no, it's okay. Just <sighs> like that. Ow! Okay, breathe. Gee, that does hurt. But that was the most painful part of the whole day. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so that's, that's good. That's fair. Uh -huh. <laughs> so this is a full spine adjustment. I'm going to follow your breath as you're breathing out. We're going to pull in this direction like that. And at the end, we're going to give a little pull, okay? Oh, God. Okay. 
All right, just, just, just sink in and relax. You're okay. Nothing too crazy, okay? We're gonna do a gentle pull. I'm not gonna like this. Okay, well, if you go into it with that attitude, you're not gonna like okay, it. You gotta I'm gonna love it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That was perfect. You are gonna love it. Good. Gentle, gentle, gentle. One more. We'll follow this breath out, but let your legs relax. Let your hips and shoulders, let it all go. Good. Mm. Yeah, put your hand on your hip. Yeah, there you go. Push. Good. Okay, that's nice that's Good. Push. Oh. That was nice, yeah. All right, bring your chin down. <laughs> Relax, bring your shoulders relax and just kind of like wiggle your toes a little bit. Wiggle your toes. <laughs> so usually my lower back is bothering me. Okay, how often does your low back bother you? Um, maybe like towards the end of the week once I've been standing up or if I don't get my yoga in regularly. Do you have any uh, upper back or neck pain? Mm, like usually my upper middle part. Does that happen just as frequently as the low back pain? More frequently because I can adjust my lower back sometimes on my own if I do certain twists. Okay, good. But that upper middle part is really hard to get to. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes neck stiffness from sleeping. Okay, so looking at the shoulders, the high shoulder on the right means that the apex of the curvature will go to the right, most likely in the thoracic or thoracolumbar spine. Good, coming back this way. Looking at the feet, heel strike, mid stance, toe off, looks symmetrical. So high left shoulder with the high right hip and then the, the right hip swing is accentuated going to the right, there's more hip swing. Okay, arches are intact, mildly decreased on the left. Go and turn around face the other way. And then there's no bowing of the Achilles tendon, so there's no pronation there, very good. You can see the high right shoulder clearly here when you're sitting. This is the bottom inferior tip of the scapula here, so higher on the right. On the high left hip, so that was correct. During the walk, it's still a high left hip during the seated as well. So with the curvature going down to the right like this, technically you should have a high right hip, but the body compensates and that left hip going up uh, is probably a lot of what you're feeling here in this left uh, lumbosacral area. This is probably where a lot of the pain comes from. Okay, so I'm gonna do a temperature evaluation on the back of my fingers. Very warm, very consistent throughout the entire spine. And just a very mild increase from left to right. And then right here in the, the, right at the apex of the curvature is where the intensity of the heat picks up. If I were to do these two like this, which one do you feel more? Which one's more tender? The right. All right, so I'm gonna look at your glute fibers now. This is how we measure which way the hips move, okay? All right, so you're going to feel my fingers on the back of your hamstrings like this, and then tracing up to the bottom of the glute folds. We're lower on the right, clearly visualized higher glute fold on the left. Then looking from the top, the right one comes out further. So the right one is lower and comes out. So that means the right hip has gone back and out like this. Or the left one has gone forward and then in like that. So there's some combination of this that's happening that we'll figure out when you're laying down. Do you think that's for me like trying to crack my back doing this? No, 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 that's okay. And I don't feel centered at all when I'm centered. Yeah, okay, so you started off over here. Does that feel more centered? I'm like here we feel centered. Yeah, okay, so that feels centered, but really here is centered. Mm -hmm. Try not to help me, just let me do the work. Left short, stay short. So that points to the right SI joint. This whole time I've been wrong. All right, let's do this. Go ahead and lift your right leg up in the air. Yep. Good, and then down. And then do the left side. And down. Okay.
tender. Mm -hmm. Got a little left side tender. So this isn't this doesn't seem as bad as the right side though. Which one's worse? Mm, the left hurts more. Yeah, that hurts. I definitely try to like I'd be wanting to crack my neck. I'd be feeling like it needs it. Mm hmm Can you crack your neck? Um, I can crack it like one way. Yeah. Okay. We'll go the other way. Gentle breathing, not pushing yet, yeah, just checking. Okay, good, you're nice and relaxed. Things are cracking already. Okay, we're gonna start here on this segment. So I'm gonna follow your breath out as you breathe out, just like that. Good, we'll just practice one as you breathe out. At the end of your breath is when I'll give a little push, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's give it a try. Nice, gentle, deep breath in through your nose. As you breathe out, let your shoulders and hips sink into the table. Okay, same thing. Deep breath in here. And out. Shoulders relaxed. Uh, you're going to take a deep breath in, and then when you get to the top of your breath, that's when we push, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try that. Deep breath in all the way in, then just let your shoulders relax as you breathe out. Okay, nice gentle breathing in through your nose. And out. Good. And you're back. Down like this, shoulder up like this. Gonna take a deep breath in. And out. Good, shoulders coming up. Good, hip down. There's a little bit more, hold on. Yeah, that's the one that's hard to do, that was nice. Like this, good, you're doing good, just breathing. And then as you breathe out, I'm gonna bring your head like this, and then we're gonna push like that, okay? Good. Gentle, gentle breathing, and letting your head and shoulders sink into the table. Very good, gentle, gentle, good. Gentle breathing, good. I'm gonna test it first and see where we need to push. Seven, six, five, four, three. Okay, a little bit in the middle there, but mostly here too. Where do you feel it more? Here? 
or here? Definitely higher, I think. All right, we're gonna just C2 on the right. Nice and gentle breathing, just like the other one. Following your breath. Good. One more breath, we'll follow this breath out. Okay, deep belly breath right here. Good out. Deep belly breath here. Oh. Yeah, your your colon is definitely your digestive organs are definitely in some kind of distress. Uh, this kind of fits into like the anxiousness, like in the tight, the shivering, mm -hmm. you know, all of that. Like your not just your muscles do that, but your organs do that as well. Mm -hmm. You're doing great. I trust you. Thank you. I appreciate that a lot. Okay, so let's follow your breath out just like the other adjustments. Deep breath in and then out. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. Wow.